Hi everyone, I'm Giovanni Busto with Petersburg Solution, and we are here with Miss Amy Crump with Sweet Bless Cafe, the newest coffee shop in Petersburg. So first of all, thank you for agreeing to um, come in and have a chat with us. Well, thank you for inviting me to do this. This is so exciting. Yes, absolutely. Um, I was here on Tuesday for the second day, Wednesday, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I came literally as soon as I heard. Um, I broke my neck to find the information <laughs> after it was tagged um, to me. She had to deal with me for about three hours. Oh, it was um, lovely. <laughs> yes. um, I, I probably guess we didn't do too much fighting. I thought I would lighten things up a little bit. Um, a couple of hours. So I think I got it. <laughs> but um, tell us about how you opened the story behind it. So the story behind our opening was basically essentially uh, I love a cafe and a coffee shop. I love to go somewhere and relax. I am obsessed with my coffee. And um, so I'm originally from Germany. And so in Germany, we have cafes everywhere. And the intent behind it is to go to a place where you can just sit and relax and enjoy a cup of coffee. I think so much now we live in a busy lifestyle where everything is just fast paced or, you know, you go to a coffee shop and it's like, Next, next. Right. <laughs> so this place in particular is just intended for relaxation and just really enjoying that cup of bliss. So. Absolutely. And um, what would you say the biggest challenge would be in opening? The biggest challenge in opening? Well, it's like planning a wedding. No matter how perfect and how you imagine it to be, there are always things that are going to change and you're going to need to be prepared to accept those challenges and just be quick on your feet to really like knock it out. So for us, for instance, when I originally opened, I thought, oh, it's going to be kind of calm and relaxing. And it has been such a pleasure that everyone has been so excited about being here. Um, so the fast pace has definitely picked up it a little bit in here, but I've got plenty of staff that got us covered. So, uh, We've adjusted to that, so. <laughs> okay. And you mentioned being from Germany. How long have you been here? Um, so I moved here when I was 11. Okay. So I went to a German school, Sprechen of Deutsch. So English was actually my second language. Okay. My entire family still lives there. It's just my mother and my siblings here okay. and my dad. What about Petersburg? Petersburg. I have been here now almost nine years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what drew me to Petersburg is the old history behind it, yeah. and just still having all of these beautiful historic buildings and homes, and it just reminds me a lot about home, but like small, quaint city feel. Right. And so when you met on Wednesday, you had mentioned about a lot of you have a slot a couple more down. I do. Uh -huh. And how you had this crazy idea of deciding to open a, open a cafe in the middle of the pandemic. In the middle of a pandemic, and, yeah. And I was talking to others and I said, I've got to find two this person <laughs> who had this crazy idea of all times, yeah. Um, uh, so I was on my way into work. It was me and my uh, salon coordinator, Ann, and I walked by this building and I just said, I'm going to open a cafe. And this was after we were shut down for two months. Um, I lost half my staff, gained new staff. Uh, I think there was a lot of stress and anxiety. And I don't know why I woke up that morning to say I'm going to do this. Um, but it all happened for a reason, is all I'm going to say. <laughs> and, I mean, the, just the feel that's in here. Yeah. Um, I want to say that these days, I think that almost Four, four out of five coffee shops in the country are Starbucks, um, Dunkin' Donuts, and whoever is behind Caribbean Coffee. Super interesting. Yes. Yeah. And um, I'm a, a boutique uh, consumer, mm -hmm. so these are the places that I, I generally um, you know, look for. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not too much of a Starbucks fan in the sense that um, waiting a long line early in the morning, mm -hmm. and people who order drinks with 45 words of them. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Three drinks, three milks in your coffee, you know, yeah. I, I don't understand, you know, so. Yeah. Um, for, for that, I, I definitely understand. I definitely can appreciate the feel that you awesome. But your staff, you did mention bringing some over here. I did, yes. Um, so when I... How did you feel about this uh, idea, or how did it take? Well, yeah. so when I first went back to the salon and I said, guys, I'm going to open a cafe. They all, just like my husband, looked at me like I was crazy, and they're like, oh, yeah, here she goes, just talking out of her head again, you know, and I'm like, no, I think I'm going to do this, and I kept talking.
talking about it and talking about it, and I find that if you speak it out loud, it becomes confirmation that this is happening because now others will hold you accountable, right? Yeah. Because they're like, what happened to that cafe? <laughs> I'm like, so, uh, but as soon as they realized that it was, I was serious, um, I've had two of my stylists that were like, I want to work there, I want to work there. <laughs> and I think there is this sense of community in cafes that they're small and plain, and everybody wants to kind of like have that barista experience, you know? They don't want that fast paced Starbucks. They want like the relaxing with the Ella Fitzgerald and let me make you a nice cup of latte. Um, yeah, and so for me, it was a no brainer because I already knew who I was working with. I knew my staff then that I was bringing on board. Um, so I know their work ethics. And so for me, that was like awesome. And I couldn't be. I couldn't have any greater of a team that I do over there and here now because they are the hardest working kids. And I say kids because I really am only looking for the younger staff. I want to give opportunities to high school kids for their first jobs. I think this is kind of ideal because it's not too bad yet. Um, and they are such like great um, communicators and they work together well. So they're very supportive of one another. But to have an 18-year-old or a 19-year-old that's working from 8 to 4.30 at a cafe and then goes next door to the salon from 4.30 to 8 and then wake up the morning and do it all over again without hesitation and like, you know, that like, oh, I'm overworked. No, like they're hustlers. So I couldn't, I think that was another reason why I was like, this is happening. So There's something that needs to be a little less. Yeah. They're definitely a lot <laughs> Yeah. And, and they still, yeah, and really instir, still great work ethics in them too, you yeah. know? So, yeah. Yes. No, no, that's what I mean. No, 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 no. Set the mood straight. Yeah. And so, with everything the fourth day of the week, um, at what point of the week did you decide, okay, now I've got it, now I know that this is actually going to work and that this is, this is doing well? Day two. Okay. Day one, I knew was going to be kind of busy because um, it's the first day, and typically when you first begin something, there's this excitement behind it, right? Um, day two, when I realized, like, this isn't stopping. I was like, this is it. We did something that I just didn't really foresee. And I'm like, now we're going to make some real magic happen in here. So day two was my, yeah, day two was my like, okay, this is happening. <laughs> if there's anything that can get me downtown and around in the city, it would be a new coffee shop. Yay! That's why I was opening that in the night before opening, um, I didn't see. No. Um, no, no. 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 No, because this becomes your baby, and when you go into something that you don't necessarily have have an idea of how your day is going to run, like being a salon owner and being a hairdresser of 19 years, like I can do this in my sleep now, you know? Um, so coming in and to doing something that's totally like left field for me, that's very new, there's this... I, there's this unknown fear, so no, I haven't slept. Um, I still don't sleep, and I dream of coffee now <laughs> and like how to make certain recipes. But I know all of that will calm down too, you know, once we really start getting our footing in here. So yeah, no, I, there's no sleep in my <laughs> life right now. And is there a particular cup that you could recommend? Ah, uh, so my favorite is my uh, vanilla caramel latte. That okay. one's my favorite. I have not tried it. Yeah, I know you like a vanilla latte. <laughs> I, have three of uh, I, had, I think I had vanilla. Uh -huh. I, I think I had white chocolate. You had the white chocolate. And caramel, but not vanilla caramel. Vanilla caramel. And then try our most popular, which is the white chocolate pumpkin right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to have some white chocolate drinks. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So. And, um,. <laughs> Before you go, anything else that you would like to share about the cafe and just how, how you're feeling with, it, with the first week just about coming to a close? I know there's something big that you're excited for. Well, <laughs> unexpectedly, yes. I was uh, definitely looking forward to like possibly having Sunday, Monday off, being that we built this place in a very short two months. And I've been in here for 
pretty much every day. And um, so I did see a picture of, and I think the front and all being empty just a few weeks ago. I think it was the 25th or something of September. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was moving pretty quickly. It was very, yeah, this has moved very quickly. And honestly, I just have to thank my husband because my husband and I have done this together, like all on our own. We didn't hire contractors, like this was our life. So there is a piece of like us all throughout this building. Um, but I cannot fathom it. Um, I have worked in innovation as part of giving direction, uh -huh. doing it myself. You know, you all are, are just a different breed, and it's a type of energy that I can appreciate. Yeah. Well, I am the visionary. I'm the creative mind. I can see it in my head before it even begins. But he's he <laughs> is the one that has to implement it. So for me, it's like. This is what I want. I don't. This is what I want it to look like. I don't care how you're gonna make that happen, but just make it happen. <laughs> I would have never know that you have not used a, any contractor. No contractors, and I, I mean, estimating well, what I, I thought it might have cost. <laughs> I think part of uh, opening a business too is just really paying attention to where your spending is. You know, initially when you open a business, there's a lot of excitement behind it. And so we initially want to go and, and do all the extras and have the top of the top and have the best of the best. But the reality is you really need to focus on where you can save money because you have time in between those doors opening and the money that you're going to be spending while you're closed. Yeah. And then, you know, so what people don't realize is once you open, there are still backup bills, like your rent's uh -huh. coming up and your Comcast is, you know what I mean, and all of those things, and you haven't quite pulled in profit yet. So for us, it's all about, and we built the salon too, like that was just oh, my husband and I. So and for us, how it's- how long ago that was? I know this is recent. We didn't talk about this, but I, when I looked this up and discovered it, I said, oh my God. Yeah, we're babies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we just celebrated our third year at Salon Bliss um, in May. So yeah. three years, and three years. decided to come a couple doors down and <laughs> open this cafe. When I grow up, I want to have this. Um, I want to have that type of drive. Oh, you just gotta go for it. Don't think about it. You just gotta do it. Everyone asks me. I'm also um, a mom of three, and I'm also a national platform artist. So I travel all over the country, and I think COVID allowed me to not travel and be here, mm -hmm. where then all of a sudden I was like, I'm going to do a cafe. <laughs> <laughs> if I was still traveling this year, I don't know if the cafe would have quite happened. So, uh, but yeah, three years, we just got to open this place and I'm just incredibly honored to be able to have this opportunity, but also give back to the city and, you know, to bring more people in. The city has so much potential and it just yeah. really needs you know, people to like come down and enjoy. There's just so much down here. And I'm glad that I'm able to create this that you see in some of the bigger cities, you know, um, but Petersburg deserves it. We really definitely deserve it. And it's time to like make something happen down here. In my yeah. eyes, it is. It's, and, it's time. Uh, and I'm only a three years here. Um, yeah. Well, you know, when, when, as soon as you came uh, down the street, I, uh, uh, yeah. I but um, I try to spend my time on other people who are, you know, separately driven mm -hmm. and trying to, um, you know, bring business and bring some life in here. And um, I knew about the restaurant, I mean, I knew about the salon down the street mm -hmm. um, for three children I did not know about. Mm -hmm. um, I think that if I had three kids, I would, have, I would definitely be in here having um, probably double the amount of latte if I had to Oh, know, I, I drink coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love more coffee. <laughs> All right, and, and could you let everyone know what the address is here? And yeah, so we are at 105 West Bank Street. Um, so we are located on the intersection of Sycamore and Bank. So we're about a block down. Um, but yeah, in the good old heart of Petersburg. <laughs> oh, check us out at salonbliss.com. That's our website, and then you can definitely Follow us on Instagram as well as on our Facebook page at Sweet Bliss Cafe. All right, and this is Javon Gusto with Petersburg Solution, and I will be seeing you all out and about soon. <laughs> See you soon!